lapel pin, or boutonniere? What's the difference? Well, we're going to talk about it when we get back. Okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, CLM24 Style with Power, the channel that helps empower men through style. And if you're into videos that talks about style, that talks about fashion, that talks about empowerment, and it talks about mindset, well, this is the channel for you. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell so you'll know every time we upload a video. Hey, happy Monday and happy fall and in the fall you start to start to think about your wardrobe so this fall i've decided to go with the lapel flower pin which is very nice it kind of brings out some elegance it's something new and i've never wore the lapel flower pin before and uh, i said you know this fall i think i'm going to wear it, it gives a certain you know, type of elegance i've decided that i'm not going to wear it ties this fall so I wanted to kind of keep the elegance and keep the style going so of course you know my pocket squares are always, always had the pocket square but I decided to add the, the lapel flower pen and um, so I just wanted to kind of do some research on it and try to find out exactly where it comes from how to wear it and I found a great article let's take a look so I went online and I googled lapel flower pen and I found this great article by a gentleman by the name of Rishi Chulani. Rishi Chulani from The Dark Knot. And he wrote a great article, and I'm just gonna read a little bit of it. A lapel flower, also commonly known as a boutonniere, is a great way to add spice and flair to your ensemble. All while adding an item that is still considered relatively unique. While a lapel flower and boutonniere are used interchangeably, there are considerable differences that set the two items apart. And of course, the main difference is a boutonniere is an actual real flower that you put in your lapel. And of course, this is fabric, right? This is fabric. So that's the biggest, that's the biggest difference. So uh, he goes on to say occasions for wearing a fabric lapel flower when strutting a full suit with a tie a lapel flower should be used in conjunction for more formal events such as weddings or graduation parties however lapel flowers have also become a preferred accessory for men who like to dress dapper casual with a blazer and a shirt with this combination, a lapel flower or a lapel flower paired with a pocket square are excellent choices for garnishing that smart, dapper look. And that's what I've chosen to do. And that's what men who want to dress with style, with power, should do. Go out and get yourself a nice lapel flower pin. And I actually went out and I bought a whole box of them. And these are them great colors uh, red green brown uh, purple the color that I'm wearing now the royal royal color pink rust all of them came in in this one box so it's fantastic you can probably find this on Amazon I'll put a link in the description on where you can go and you can get yours and I think it just adds a little bit of elegance uh, this particular one I actually have two I have the royal blue and I have the off-white and I put the royal blue and the off-white pocket square right here. Give it that nice flavor, that nice combination. So there you have it, the lapel flower pen. I definitely recommend that you go out and you try it. And it definitely adds a little flair and a little elegance to your style. So many of you may remember that I did a video about a month, a month and a half ago on whitening your teeth. And I actually told you that I was doing a procedure while I was getting implants and they're finally in. They look pretty good. And I was so happy that when the dentist was trying to match the color of my teeth, he says, you know, Mr. Marshall, you got, you got white teeth. I said, well, thank you. 
I try very hard to keep my teeth white. Um, but as I, um, as I will let you know that I'm talking a little bit funny because it's brand new and uh, I got to get used to it. I never thought I would have to get used to having implants, but when you've had spaces in your mouth for so long, you just get used to having nothing there. And now that I have these implants and I have to get used to it, it just happened for me this past weekend. So i um, only been in for a couple of days and I'm trying to adjust. But I definitely would tell everyone out there, please take care of your teeth. Something I didn't do as well as I should have. But with new technology out here today in dentistry, you can go out there and you can hook up your teeth and just make it look really, really nice white straighten it out um, probably do the Invisalign where it just straightens out your teeth you got all these things that you can do so they're in no spaces in the back and uh, I definitely recommend that you go out there and you do the same and make sure that you get that great smile right because when you smile the whole world smiles with you well that's it for this week thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing uh, the year is almost over. It'll be holiday season next week. I'll be talking more about the holidays and I will see you next Monday.